All right. Cindy Utter has a challenge, and the challenge is to get 10 items from the dollar store that you can use as mark making tools. So I went by the dollar store this morning, and I'll tell you what, I had a heck of a time coming up with 10. I was trying to find items that weren't duplicates of what Cindy had. So here's what we found. I do have a couple of extra things in here, uh, stuff that I actually needed. So let me get those out of the way first so I'm not grabbing them on accident. Uh, okay, I think that's it. So, first of all, I found this uh, ball. Um, so it looks like, you know, nice squishy. You can get some good circles with it, maybe. We can get it to stay. And then there was a turkey, well, not a turkey, but a, a baster brush. And use that to slap paint down paint maybe then there was this facial brush this reminded me of one of those distressor things that I don't remember who put it out but you push the button and it spins for you so that might be fun and then it's got an added cap on there to keep the bristles um, clean from for your face maybe that cap will be useful and I found this package of non-slip rug underlay so that might make some good marks and you know create pattern then this cat toy this i don't know about this part but this weird loofah looking stuff i thought might work on the underside where it's flat so i'm going to give that one a whirl I have these little guys. Where are we at? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, number six. These are self stick floor. Uh, you put them on the bottom of your chair so you don't scratch your wood up. So I might need to hook those to this packaging to give myself a something to hold on to, but we'll see how those turn out. Number seven, baby bottle nipples. I thought maybe that circular part might be a good circle impression. Some round hair elastics. Uh, these I think will work nicely put around something like maybe a toilet tube or a piece of wood. Uh, and then you can space them out how you want. Make a stampy with it. There was this uh, bubble toy that has this interesting pattern here on the open end. And there's also a little circle here that might be fun to use. And last thing I found was this scraper, tool scraper thing. Um, I think it's a razor blade. Let's look real quick. Yeah, there's a razor blade in there. But if I leave the razor blade safety, you know, the, the non-sharp side out, that could be interesting and maybe for lines. So we'll see how that turns out. So the second part of this video, I'm going to come back and put these things to work and show you how they turn out. All right, now we have some paint and some paper. We can continue on and see how these tools work. So I've picked out a few I thought would look okay together. We've got a couple shades of pink, orange, yellow, purple, blue, and some black and copper for some highlight fun. So let's get started on that and we can talk about each one as we go along and see what we think. All right. Random, we're going to random grab an item. So the first thing I have is the ball. And I'm going to need something to put these in as I go because they're going to become messy. All right, I have something to put them in now. So let's just pick a color. We're going to go with pink for this one. I don't know how long it's been since I've opened these, so we'll see. All right, so a bit of pink. Now, in my opinion, this should put, give you the ability to make a few different size balls circles kind of shapes so we can go like that and that works pretty good and get a bigger blob and of course if you have a, a good sized pan there you know this ball's not perfectly firm this gives you lots of squishability that's the hole for the air so you can get some decent little squishy prints off that I like that that's fun you know, having to wash a ball may not be the most enjoyable thing, but hey, it looks like it comes off pretty good. 
All right, so balls a win. Next item we have is these felt protector things. So let's open this up. We're going to stick these to the container itself, I think. I don't know if I want to use all of them. They're kind of stuck together already. So I should be able to just peel this backing off and hook it maybe on here. That way I have something to hold on to. All right, what color should we use with that? Let's get this purple. And there's no schmutz thing there. A little bit of purple. And get that color on there good. I think this is not going to be the best for paint on the first couple of applications because it soaks up all the paint for you. So you might want to use eh, something on it first before using it as a paint applicator because it just sucked up all that paint I put on it real quick. That's kind of a neat, a neat shape. Not a total fail. I don't know how easy it would be to wash this because it's got that adhesive. You're going to, you know, you may not need to wash it if you allow the paint to get in there and dry up. I don't know if it's going to stop you being able to use it in the future, but we'll see. All right, next item in the bag. Oh, we have the baster brush. I've got to get it out of the packaging. Baster brush. Let's just poke it in this pink stuff here. Just kind of slap a little around. Well, that's pretty fun. Look at those neat lines you can get. You can you can get this with the green and go across the bottom of your page like like so ish and kind of come up with a grass almost. Those are fun lines. And then of course you can you can make some polka dots by doing the tips. And this should probably clean up really well. Let's see real quick. I'll just stick it in the water. Eh, it's going to need a little bit of rubbing around. It comes off pretty easy. See? So silicone cooking brush type things like that are going to be really nice. And it's got ridges on one side that created this kind of effect. I don't know how well you can see that. Let me get it closer for you. See the loops it's created because of the ridges? And then the other side didn't have that. So depending on what side you're using, you're going to get a little bit different effect. So that's pretty cool. I like that one. All right, next up we're going to use orange. And put that there. And let's reach in the bag and see what we get. And I have a facial brush. Now this had two purposes because it has the, the fun brush, but the cap is also a shape. So let's do this. Well, it seems to have kind of a, is it concave? to it so you don't actually get all of this circles doing this but this little sideways brush technique can be kind of fun and of course you can do a scrubby kind of application with it perhaps be a neat way of making a kind of a flowery kind of thing and you could add a stem to it that's kind of fun I like that kind of like a you know, of course, you can use it just to do some slight edge type thing. That's nice. I like that. And then, of course, you know, this is a, a circle. Let's see if I can get proper application of paint on it, though. So, yep. Nice little circle from that. So that's a win. I like this brush thingy. All right, next in the bag is this razor scraper thing. I think I'll leave that to end because I have an idea how to use that one already. 
All right, we have the hair bows, hair bands. What do I want to put these on? So I think on these, the best idea is to get yourself some kind of object to hook them to. So I'm just going to get a few off of here. And we're just going to use my mod, whatever this stuff's called, decoupage jar. So you're going to put them on the jar. This is what I'm doing. Like this. Right now I'm just kind of cramming them all on here and then I'll, I will organize them. Maybe. I'm going to spread these around. I think if we don't have them all lined up exactly the same, that would be kind of cool. Maybe like that. All right, so now we got to pick a color. I think purple would be a good idea. I already did purple. Let's go with blue. Now, obviously, this is going to require a bit of thought process on how much paint you're putting on where. And because these are fabric coated, they're not going to be is easy for cleanup. So I've got some paint around there and let's just see what happens when we put it on. That's kind of fun. Now if you spend more time making sure your paint is covering all the way around, of course you're going to get a little different effect. And I think these, because people wear these when they go to the pool and you know sometimes when they're in the shower, you should be able to wash these up pretty easily. So those are fun. I like that idea. I wouldn't keep them on this container because that would be a pain. I think I would try and find maybe a, a, a old jar that doesn't need to be used for anything else that's got a good shape to it. All right, into the bag we go for another item. All right, now we have, okay, those things are getting more. Grab a bubble. This is a bubble blower thing I thought might be fun for making circles. So there's our tool. And does it come apart at all? No, it doesn't. Alright, so I'm going to use some more of this blue. It's all schmutzed up nicely. I don't know why I keep using that word. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that could be some kind of a flower center. If you get the you gotta get the paint on it right though. Yeah, so it's not gonna pick up the center of the the thing very well. I think if you did the maybe like this, not that you could do this on every project, but yeah, there you go. So if you press from behind, you can get the full pattern out of your thingy there. And then of course the edge can be like a twirly mark making tool. And then the mouth part that makes some nice little circles. Yeah I like those. Those are good little circles. Cool. That's a win. And that should wash up really well too because you know, that's intended for use with bubble blowing. So there's, uh, it's going to have liquids in it. All right, next thing in the bag, we have this non-slip rug underlay stuff. All right, this stuff feels really interesting, by the way. I am not going to use the whole thing. I am going to cut a chunk off because I think that way you have plenty to share or use later. Like if you get this so gooped up you don't care about it anymore, you can just throw it away. So we are going to use this nice hot pink with that. Here's that stuff. Actually it's phthalo red, but it looks like pink to me. All right, so um, I'm just going to use my finger here to spread this around a little because we don't want it all in one big glob there. Right. 
lay that in the paint and now I think on this particular application I'm going to smush it down with my brayer well that gives you the ridges doesn't give you the lines does it I wonder if the other side would work better First, you know, now I'm just getting paint everywhere, but. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, this stuff is fun. Now, you could glue this to something if you wanted to, but I think this being able to schmutz it on here. So, one side has bumps on it that stick up more than the other. So, that side's going to give you dots, and the other side will give you the grid. So, I think that's a fantastic little. Um, imprint maker there. Too cool. I love that. I'm definitely going to be using this again. Yeah, that's nice. I like that a lot. Very cool. That should wash up really easily because it's kind of a, a rubbery stuff. And once again, because this is my favorite so far, so it's the non-slip rug underlay. That's what that pattern is. Very fun stuff. All right, we have three more items to go through for our test. Uh, the next one is a cat toy. I'm not going to mess up the little ball because I don't think that's going to do anything for me. I'm going to let my kitty have it. And we're going to use this little scruffy, I think it's supposed to be a mouse. Looks like a shoe. Um, I think this string might be a problem, but we'll see. Uh, what color haven't we used? We haven't used yellow. Let's get some yellow on there. Alright, so this is a stiff, it's almost like loofah. It's a stiff toy, so you actually have a place you could stick your finger, keep the tail out of the way. Let's just try it like that. And of course, I don't have this dish in a way that helps. Let's turn it around. All right. Well, it kind of gives you a little something, something. It's more of a, it's picking up the edge of the item more than the center area. There we go. That's kind of fun. That's kind of like that Denditric, I think it's called, monoprint. The way it, it pulls the color to the center as you're separating the glass. I have a video of some of those. So that's not a fail. And because this seems like it's loofah, I'm sure it would clean up just like the ones that you would have here in your shower. But I would say that you're going to have to be particular about how you're pressing down if you don't want it to always have that moon shape that doesn't bother you no big deal you could probably cut it up a little bit too so that's not too bad I think I need a little bit more here and there yeah I'm really liking that carpet holder all right and our last well not last second to last item is a baby bottle nipple And let's use this nice bit of copper. I'm running out of places to put color. Let's put it over here. All right. This should give us some nice kind of circle shapes. Well, not quite how I'd hoped. I think the ridge in here of the bottle is kind of preventing what I wanted it to do, which I was hoping for a more filled in circle, but you know, maybe if I got creative, I could cut cut that part off and get what I was trying for, but it's not it's 
not a total fail, but I think I would prefer a, a different look on it. So I think I will maybe use my knife to try and get rid of that ridge. You can see it right here. It's a little ridge on the the edge of the inner part here that stops that surface from going completely flat, which is what I was hoping for when I saw them. Once you get a nice nice circle shape out of it. I guess you could spin it and get something. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to uh, try that and if that doesn't work then I would think this is kind of a meh. Don't bother. And of course those are going to clean up nice because they're silicone. And then the last thing I have is the scraper. Now this is dual purpose obviously because you can use this to uh, do work, but if you keep the blade inside, safety-wise, and this is the, the plain part that you can't cut yourself on, um, if you keep that tucked away, you should be able to use this to make some nice little lines. So let's see if my theory is correct. Let's get a bit of black out here. Oh yeah, nice little lines. And it's a small, compact, handy little tool shape. So you just come in here and, and do your little whatevers. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This is a nice little tool. And like I said, dual purpose. You can. It came with a pack of four of them, I think. So you can use a couple for paint and a couple for your other. Share some with your husband if you have one, or your boyfriend. Or your significant other. So that, I like that. That's working really nicely. Cool. And of course you can also do smeary kind of paint spread type things. Those are nice too. And that should clean up pretty easily too. So, I think that I've gotten a nice assortment of little things that work well. Um, I, I don't necessarily think that I would want to try to use this all the time because it soaks up the paint so much that it almost seems like it's, you know, I like to use my paint on my project, not have it stuck in my tool. And I kind of think that's how that's going to be. Um... The baby nipple needs a modification to be useful. The bubble blower had a neat pattern, although you're not going to get the pattern fully unless you're touching it from the back side like I did here. The brush you can use to make, you know, like over here I did a little bit of rough, roughing up with it. You can use that to create kind of an effect if you are not too heavy handed with how much you apply. The kitty toy had a nice print but you're going to get a repeated annoying circle thing if you, you know, you're going to have to hold it just right. Really, really loving that carpet mat stuff. That's fantastic. And I don't necessarily think that I would keep the rubber band headband, hairband technique. That, that to me seems a little annoying. I'd rather use the little scraper tool and create small lines, but it still works. So... Um, what else was on here? One neat thing about the hair bands, I don't know if you can see it, I just now noticed, um, it, because of the fabric on it, it created a, let me find one that I can actually point out properly, it created this little pattern here because of the fabric around the rubber band. That's, that kind of is neat. Um, I would have to find a way of using those that didn't include having to have on my container and would be easy for cleanup. So um, the ball is fun, gives you a not quite uniform shape. The cap for the scrubby brush is great. Um, I don't know what else is on here that I need to point out. Oh, the basting brush. That was pretty cool too. I like that. And I like that I realized it was, uh, you know, like the U-shaped print and then the straight print, depending on which side you had the brush pointed as you went. 
So, I hope you take up this challenge by Cindy Utter to go to your dollar store and find 10 items that you think can be used to make imprints and bring them home and see what, what you can create. Um, the reason for going for the dollar store is it's inexpensive. You know, you get 10 whole things that can create prints for less than what some places are charging just to buy a one that's a professional item used intended specifically for an art. So check that out and I will put a link to her video in the description box below so you can see her, her original idea video. And do a search on YouTube, see who else has, has done them. I think Gina Ahrens has also done a video uh, where she's gotten her items and checked them out. So uh, look for that as well. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hope to have you as one. If you hit that subscribe button down below, you will become one. And feel free to leave any comments in the description box below. It also contains my other social media links. So take care and have a great day. Bye.